सो है गाइस टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मॉडर्न क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स बाय जे जे साकुराय एंड इट्स द थर्ड एडिशन दैट आई विल बी सॉल्विंग दीज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सो लेट्स रीड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ बीम ऑफ सिल्वर एटम्स इज क्रिएटेड बाय हीटिंग अ वेपर इन अ अवन टू थाउजेंड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड्स अ बीम ऑफ सिल्वर एटम्स इन डीड एंड सेलेक्टिंग एटम्स विद वेलासिटी क्लोज टू द मीन ऑफ द थर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन The beam moves through a one meter long magnetic field with a vertical gradient of ten tesla per meter, and impinges a screen one meter downstream of the end of the magnet. Assuming the silver atom has a spin half with a magnetic moment of one Bohr magneton, find the separation distance in millimeters of the two states on the screen. So, the problem that we have been given here, it says that. Uh, there's a oven that has a temperature around thousand degree centigrade, and it's uh, burning some silver atoms. So there is a downstream of these silver atoms which move over here from the furnace. Let's say let's say that this direction here is the x axis, and this direction here is the z axis for convention. so these atoms have some velocity in the x direction and this velocity is to be taken close to of the mean thermal distribution which is given by under root 8 kb t by pi m where kb is the boltzmann constant now we have a magnet here just like this so this magnet produces some magnetic field over here which causes these atoms to experience some force so some atoms will experience a force upwards and some will experience a force downwards we know that in a magnetic field the force experienced is given by f is equal to mu db by dz the force in the z direction that is and this magnetic moment we are set to take bohr magneton which is mu b it's a physical constant so when it will have a positive value the force experienced by the atom will be upwards and when it has a negative value the force experienced will be downwards so we'll have a splitting here the atoms will split depending what force is acting on them and further uh, this magnet is 1 meter long and further there is a screen which is 1 meter from the magnet where these atoms won't experience any force in the z direction and they will go and uh, hit the screen over here so we have to find this separation distance let's call it delta z for now all right so we have the force and this here is our vertical gradient which is given to us 10 tesla per meter so we can now uh, calculate the force in the z direction while it is inside the magnet so it is just mu b dbz by dz i'll do it only for the above direction like on for the up part and the lower part should be identically similar it should be similar so the force comes out to be 9.274 times 10 to the power minus 24 this is the value of the bohr magneton and uh, times 10 joule per meter now new uh, using newton's second law we know that the acceleration is given by the force per unit mass so we can calculate the mass by the molar mass of the silver atoms and the avogadro number the molar mass of silver atoms is close to 108 grams per mole and the avogadro number Six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three mole inverse. So this cancels with this, and this comes out to be approximately one point seven nine into ten to the power minus twenty five kilograms. 
So we can find the acceleration from here. We'll just plug in the values of the force and the mass we just calculated, which was 9.274 into 10 to the power minus 24 by, oh, times 10, the gradient, magnetic gradient, and 1.79 times 10 to the power minus 25. This is in kilograms, this is in joule per meter. So you can see that the acceleration will come out to be in meter per second square. And this approximately comes out to be 518 meter per second square. Now, we also need to calculate the velocity in the x direction which was given to us by the mean thermal distribution. Now we have the mass, the temperature is given to us in 1000 degree centigrade, we'll convert it into Kelvin, which will be 1273 Kelvins. Now, all we have to do is just plug in all the values over here. If you don't know, the Boltzmann constant is 1.38 in 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin so we need to plug all these values over here and the velocity we will get would be in meter per seconds so this comes out to be 499.91 which i'll take approximately equal to 500 meter per second so we have this and we have this so now we can uh, proceed with calculating the separation delta z so we know that the time taken to uh, we can calculate the time it took to travel inside the magnet and because there is no acceleration in the x direction we can write it to be just the distance in x by the velocity in x the distance in x traveled is 1 meter and the velocity is 500 meter per second. So I'll just call it 1 by 500 seconds. That is the time taken for the atoms to complete the path in the magnet. Now there will be some displacement uh, in while it's inside the magnet. So the displacement inside the magnet, I'll call it Zin. It will, which would be equal to the initial velocity in the z direction plus half times acceleration in the z direction t square. So there is no as uh, initial velocity in the z direction so this will be zero and we will just have to calculate half az t square which comes out to be half times 518 times 1 by 500 square so if you calculate this this comes out to be 1.036 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters now similarly you have to calculate the displacement outside the magnetic field so outside we can again write the same formula uzt plus half az t square so this time the second term will be zero because there is no acceleration outside because there is no magnetic field outside so we just have to calculate uz t now the value of uz comes out to be 1.036 and this will be divided by 500 because time is just 1 by 500 i'll tell you how we got this value uz is just given by the uh, initial velocity, we'll call it u prime z plus a z t. So again, there is no initial velocity. So this just comes out to be a z t, which is 518 by 500, which is just 1.036 meter per second. I guess this is clear. This is just v is equal to u plus at and since there is no initial velocity while it's inside the magnet there is no initial velocity in the z direction so the velocity in the z direction comes out to be this so we plug it in here and divide it by 500 
and this comes out to be 2.072 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So the total displacement in the z direction in the above part is z in plus z out which is 1.036 times 10 to the power minus 3 plus 2.072 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters. We can write it in millimeters because it's in the order of 10 to the power minus 3. So this comes out to be 3.108 millimeters. Now similarly the displacement in the down part of the screen would be minus 3.108 millimeters. So delta z we can calculate by this above displacement minus the lower displacement which would be equal to 6.216 millimeters and this here is the separation between the two upspin and downspin of the silver atoms on the screen.